Tonight, we're continuing our coverage on the story we first brought you last night. A graduation party turned violent. Forsyth police are looking for the men responsible for a Saturday night shooting at a block party. Three teens were shot, including Mary Persons football player DJ Walton. Ashton Webb joins us in studio with the latest on the investigation and the message Walton's father has on his son's recovery. And tonight's top story. Yes, I spoke to Terrence Walton by phone today. He says he's grateful to have his son alive. A bullet hit DJ in the lower back. The bullet hit his intestines, but luckily it missed his spine. So far, Walton already has had one surgery, but doctors say they will have to do at least one more to actually remove the bullet. Walton says he and their family are still wrapping their heads around how this could happen at a graduation party in the usually quiet town of Forsyth. DJ Walton's family shared this video of the Mary Persons football player taking his first steps in Atrium Health Navicent after being shot at his cousin's graduation party. Walton says the party was for five Mary Persons graduating seniors. It's unbelievable, really, because when you go to stuff like that, it's supposed to be, you know, a celebration or something. And to have it happen, you know, during a celebration, it, 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 it's, it's hardened me. That's what Forsyth investigators are also working to understand. Sergeant Terrence Thomas says three teens were shot. 16-year-old DJ Walton and two 19-year-olds, one from Macon and the other from Jackson. We had one guy that was shot in the lower back. Uh, one had a wound to his right leg. An incident report reveals the chaotic scene first responders arrived to on Millage Circle just after midnight Sunday morning. They had to shuffle through a crowd of screaming people. Maybe 300 or more people out there. First responders found one victim shot and leaning over a propane tank. DJ Walton laying on the ground down the road and later finding a third person shot. Uh, it seems like there was a group that had some kind of disagreements and at that point shots rang out. Sergeant Thomas says investigators now believe at least three men pulled guns and started shooting. Investigators collected roughly 17 rounds there. Now investigators are still working to determine whether or not this was targeted. Forsyth police say they are looking for at least three shooters. According to the report, witnesses told police that at least one of the shooters was in a yellow Dodge Charger, but there's no description of the second vehicle the other shooters were in. Lori? Thank you, Ashlyn. The police department says all three victims suffered non-life-threatening injuries and are expected to recover. Forsyth investigators say if you have any information on the shooters, call 478-993 one zero zero five.